Hey everybody. So last time I took you along with me while I painted these little owls, mom and baby owls. I have two of them, both palm size, because I have a holiday art market coming up and I want to have a lot of smaller things for people to be able to purchase that aren't full paintings or just print or prints of my paintings. I'll have those too, obviously, but the bulk of the money that I make doing an art show is because I have smaller items on offer as well. Um, even, you know, little kids like, like to, to grab a little rock that has fairies on it or a little insect ladybug or toads and I also do little um, magnets as well because kids love magnets um, the last little art show I did I I made something like 30 bucks just selling little five dollar magnets <laughs> so and and I sold several of these small size rocks as well um, because people want to support your art but sometimes they just can't afford it or don't have wall space for wall art so I like to make little paperweights I like to make smaller pebbles that um, I don't know my grandparents used to call them worry stones you just carry a stone around in your pocket and and rub it that was the older generations version of a fidget spinner I guess um, uh, or a stress relief <laughs> but anyway so today what I'm going to do is I'm going to focus on turtles um, I sold the only box turtle, uh, it was a cute little non-realistic box turtle, just like most of my painted art is. Um, if I if I try to be realistic with my painted art, I would have to sell it for quite a bit higher than what I do. Um, these little guys will be priced at um, probably fifteen to twenty dollars a piece. So I I don't make much out of these rocks, but if I if I made these. Um, full-on beautiful snowy owl realism uh, I would have to charge a lot more for my time and some people just can't afford a lot more for your time so I like to have some of the more sweet cutesy crafty art pieces with me too that people will purchase for a lot less and that take me a lot less time these two white rocks are going to become uh, little baby sea turtles hatching out of their little sea turtle eggs and these two are going to be uh, box turtles. So this one obviously is kind of a flatter sort of box turtle. And this one's larger, but that's, that's where I'm going with these. So anyway, I'm going to start with these little guys and get stuck in. And I'll probably speed this up for you to watch. But as always, if you want a full length voiceover tutorial on on just how I did these and you want to follow along and paint along feel free to uh, to tell me in the comments below hit like and subscribe of course too um, to my channel but tell me in the comments below if you would like to see a full-length voiceover tutorial of this I'm not going to do the full tutorial as I go now simply because um, I don't know if there's going to be interest. So if there is interest, let me know and I will uh, do a voiceover tutorial as I take it step by step. All right, let's get stuck in.
I hope you enjoyed this speed painting of my sea turtles and the box turtles. Remember to hit like and subscribe to see more of my content. And also, please remember to comment below if you would like to see a full-length tutorial of either of these things. Have a great day!